Good evening and welcome to another IADC update. And this evening we continue to track the progress of the work here at the Argyle International Airport site. Of course, from previous programs, you are well informed and you know that the work here is progressing quite well. Today we have some really good news for you as we go around the site showing you all of the progress being made here. Now, from previous programs, you would have learned that the paving of the runway had truly begun and that the two turning heads, the one on the northern and the southern end, along with both stopways, have been completed already. And we were awaiting the, the, the full commencement of asphalt paving. Yes, we had the stopways in asphalt being completed, but as for the runway itself, which you can see part of it behind me here we have commenced full pavement that's asphalt pavement of the runway that's the actual runway so behind me you can see that quite a number of strips have been asphalted already and the guys here they are continuing their work this is about 300 meters of runway that we have here so they're doing this and they're going to take this and go forward of course on the southern end we have another 600 meters which have been prepared and awaiting asphalting so when they finish here i'm pretty sure they're going to go around to the southern end to begin the asphalt pavement on that side so that's another 600 meters and of course on that side they are continuing to lay the final base material putting on the protective coating so that that entire area in the first kilometer of the runway can be paved when we go around we will see how far they are regarding the the final base layer that they are putting on if they are already in the second kilometer we'll be able to see that and we'll also be able to go across to the aprons where they're working on the general aviation apron to bring you an update there that among others so stay with us as we go around the airport site tracking the progress <music> Okay, thank you for staying with us. We continue to move around the site here at the Agal International Airport and we are seeing real progress. Now where we are here, we are in the second kilometer of the project and this is where all the aprons are located. Now, of course, we have our commercial apron which is more than 90% complete and we are looking at the work being done on the general aviation apron. Now, this apron started less than a month ago and you can see from looking at it how far they have gotten the work is really moving along i know that we have, we have speeded up the process so that we can catch the operation date later this year of course that is our objective and that is what we're working towards so right now they have laid quite a bit of the concrete on the general aviation apron and we are seeing the guys at work laying down the molds so that they can start to pour more concrete and this is how it's going to look from from here from here on we did tell you that once they were finished with the concrete work on the southern turning head that all efforts will be concentrated in this area so all of those workers are now here and they are speeding along with this work once they have completed the general aviation apron they will move to my left and they will be concentrating then on the cargo apron of course we should be seeing very soon later this month towards the end of this month the start of construction of the cargo terminal as well so those are the things that are happening above me we have the workers they're continuing to prepare the area for the fuel farm and very soon we will see work started in that area as well in addition to the preparation taking place for the construction of the fuel farm we also have the continuation of the drainage project of course a number of drains have been put in around the site so that we can properly channel water that would be coming down into the Agile Sea and we have quite a number of box culverts in this area because we know that a lot of water come down here so all those little details are being taken care of ensuring that this project is properly built and when it's done it is sound engineering work 
So we're going to take you overlooking the first kilometer of the project where we can see the work being done there on the runway area. So stay with us as we go up to show you what's happening in that area. Well, we are at the side of the Yambo River where we are doing the spanning work and that work is moving along well. Of course, we have employed a night shift as well as the day shift to get this work completed in a timely fashion. Now, we have five culverts here. And if you look carefully past me, you will note that three of them are moving really fast. Now, those three are almost at the end of the area that we are spanning. And in the middle, we have another two, which we have to come up and take down as well. But those, I am pretty sure, will be done very soon as we are nearing the end of the first three. Now, in front of the culverts here, we are seeing the concrete work also on the way. And they have already done all the faces for the culverts. And now they are setting up their steel work so that they can do more concrete right on the very top here. Of course, when they have completed the setting down of all the culverts, they will then begin to do the backfilling. And according to our, our engineer, Leonardo Perez, they will be using a mixture of cement and soil to fill in between these culverts up to a certain height. And once they have gotten to the desired height, then they can use other recommended materials to complete the filling. After which they'll be able to put heavy equipment up there to do compaction and then work with the base material to have this area of the runway completed. So this is what they're doing here at the moment. And we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel where the spanning of the Yambu River is concerned. Around the side also we have work going on right now on the parking lot area that's behind the passenger terminal building and in addition to the preparation of the ground for ev eventual pavement work there we are seeing the drains in front of the terminal building being installed as well and over in the north we also have work being done on the hillside over there where we are trying to take down that hill just in front of the Argyle Primary School. So we're going along uh, all around the, the, the site here and uh, we are going to be moving from this area. But before we move, I must mention that we continue to blast as well on the Petroglyph Hill. And we are also blasting in the area where the hill is coming down on, in the northern area, just where they're doing the city fence work, just opposite there. They're also blasting there. So that is where the blasting is concentrated for the time being as we work towards having this Argyle International Airport operational by before year end. We, we will also see very soon the commencement of the fencing of the airport. And one of the reasons we have to work steadfastly on bringing down this petroglyph hill which stands on the western fence of the runway. So come with us as we go across the Johnson Hill to get a good view of what's going on in the first kilometer with the paving of the runway in that area. Thank you for staying with us. It has been a while since I've been up here perched on the top of Johnson Hill where you absolutely get the best view of this project from end to end, right through. Anyway, from up here, we are really concerned about the paving of the runway in the southern end of the project. That is in the first kilometer. Just to recap, that the stopway and the turning head, they're all complete. And for the next 600 meters of runway, we have seen the protective coating, which is laid on it to prevent the water from seeping in and from contaminating that area so very soon very very soon we will see the commencement of pavement here that's asphalt pavement on this southern end also they are continuing to lay the final base layer on the runway and they are coming heading north now today that work is ongoing and once they finish with the final base layer here they will also be adding the protective coating to this area as well so we are ensuring that everything is on point that 
we're not making any errors so that by the time we're ready to put on the asphalt it's all good and we could avoid the errors of the past now also from up here we can see get a clearer picture of the apron area full picture of the apron area and it really shows the amount of work that has been done here thus far we can also look straight ahead and see the work that that is being done across the petroglyph hill as well as the river area and the pavement going on in the northern side of the runway so all of that very picturesque and uh, all wrong view of what is going on here at the argyle international airport now we are working tirelessly to ensure that we have this airport up and running by before the end of this year so we are looking forward to that and once the weather continues to hold we have been having some rains recently and that's been pushing back the work a bit because as you know you cannot do any pave, paving work once the rain is falling but once we have dry weather we continue to push the work and with the night shift being implemented over there at the river and also the night shift continuing with the stone crusher we are making some good inroads and things are looking good and we are quite positive and hopeful that we will have this airport operational before the end of this year so we're asking you to continue to support the project continue to pray for the project and for the people who are working on it so that we can continue to work every day as long as god gives us the strength to do so this is all for today until next time we'll see you again bye